is up, my name friends and family, I'm Charmix, and this video is a lot different than normal. Instead of a reaction video, today, I'm going to be doing the stupid test. I'm not the brightest of people, but I don't think I'm that stupid. I think I'm more of a, just an idiot, and I also have, like, a really bad memory. So, I, I hope I don't fall under the category of stupid. I'd be happy if I was just an idiot. But anyway, <laughs> with that being said, I hope you guys like this video, and let's begin. Alright, so here we are. Alright, so here we are, and the first question says, Which uh, side of your body is uh, your left hand on when you are looking in a mirror? Which side of your body is your left hand on when you're looking in a mirror? It's on your left side. I mean, if you're looking in a mirror, it might look like it's on the other side, but, I mean, your left hand is still on your left side of your body. So, le the left side. Okay. It's a pretty, it's a pretty odd question to start with. Alright, next question. Uh, is it possible to draw a six-sided star of David without lifting your pen or pencil from the paper? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's all, like, interconnected, right? So you, you should be able to do it. You should be able to do it. Uh, Alright, next one. Goldfish are very stupid animals. Actually, I heard that they're, uh, quite smart. Anyway, so goldfish are very stupid animals with a memory span of just five seconds. It takes only 4.5 seconds to read this question. Could a goldfish answer this question? Yes, why not? I don't see why he couldn't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm editing the video right now, you guys. And as I'm re-watching this, I'm thinking to myself, I'm, I'm such an idiot! A goldfish couldn't answer this question because it's a fucking goldfish! Goldfish can't answer questions! And I said yes! How fucking stupid am I? I don't see why he couldn't. Maybe I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm gonna leave that there. Anyway, I actually heard that goldfish, uh, they don't have a memory span of five seconds. Supposedly, um, they actually can recognize faces, which means they have a memory span that lasts a lot longer. Alright, next question. In the film Forrest Gump, Bubba famously said, uh, which of the following about stupid? Stupid is like a box of chocolates. I don't remember that. Me and stupid go together like peas and carrots. Stupid is as stupid does, or none of the above. I don't remember. I mean, I've seen uh, Forrest Gump, but I don't remember. I'm gonna say none of the above. It's either none of the above, or wait, maybe it's stupid is as stupid does. I'm gonna go with that one. Frig, I'm an idiot. Anyway, anyway, let's let's continue. All right, number five. There are lots of gender stereotypes about one gender or the other being stupid. How do you feel? I'm a guy. Girls are stupid. I'm a woman, boys are stupid. I'm a guy, but I don't think women are stupid. I'm a girl, but that doesn't mean I think all guys are stupid. Wait, 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 what? This question doesn't make sense because, I mean, the last answer says I'm a girl, but that doesn't mean I think all guys are stupid. And the other one should be I'm a guy, but I don't think all girls are stupid. But this one says I'm a guy, but I don't think women are stupid. Some women are stupid, and some men are stupid. This is a, this is this question is very biased. It, I mean, I guess I'm gonna I don't know. I'm gonna go with I'm a girl. I'm not a girl, but I think this is if it was a guy saying I'm a guy, but but that doesn't mean all uh, women are stupid. I think that's the proper answer. Okay, next question: Can a baseball pitcher throw a baseball at 60 miles per hour, and without it touching any other objects or surfaces, have it stop and come right back to him? What? No. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. I just thought of this. He can throw it upwards, and it comes right back to you. Yes! <laughs> I freaking got it. How many times can you fold a plastic drinking straw in half? I don't know. First off, it's not unlimited, so it has to be... Frig. Okay, I don't have any drinking straws around. Normally, I do. Um, how many times can you fold a... How many times can you fold a plastic drinking straw in half? Well, it's, I mean, technically you can fold it in half once. So I'm gonna say once. Alright, so I'm editing right now and I just want to clear this up. What I was trying to say is that if you have a straw and you bend it in half, or you fold it in half, you can do that once. However, after you fold it in half, uh, you can't fold it in half again, because it's already folded in half. So how many times can you fold a plastic drinking straw in half? The answer has to be one because you can't fold something that's in half, in half again. Then it wouldn't be considered in half, it'd be considered like in quarters. 
so a straight road runs through a forest that is 100 miles across. You have 10 gallons of gas in your car, uh, and your car gets 10 miles per gallon. Uh, how far can you drive into the forest without running out of gas? You should be able to drive 100 miles. If you get 10 miles per gallon, and you have 10 gallons, so 10 times 10 is 100. I think that's right, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm not stupid. Maybe I'm maybe I'm a genius. Wouldn't that be a plot twist? Maybe I'm a genius. Could a goldfish answer this question? Yes, why not? I don't see why he couldn't. Alright, anyway. Uh, how many US uh, national holidays fall between Christmas and New Year's? None. Boxing Day. Boxing Day. I think that's a holiday, isn't it? I, I think that's a holiday. I'm gonna say it's a holiday. I might be wrong. Uh, exactly how many 0.5 inch slices can you cut from a whole loaf of bread that is 10 inches long? Uh, you should be able to do 20 because 0.5 times 2 is 1 and then you got 10 so that's 20. I think I might be a genius. I would love that. That would be the best plot twist out of this. Alright, next uh, question. What is the capital of the United States? Washington DC. Uh, divide 100 by half and add 17. So 100 by half is 50 and add 17 is 67. What do you get? 67. A lawyer once said to a judge, I'm lying. Was he telling the truth? How do I know? He was neither lying or telling the truth. This question is too hard. It's too hard. A lawyer said to a judge, I'm lying. Is he telling the truth? Well, I mean, he's making a statement. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna say this. He was neither lying or telling the truth. I think he was just making a statement. Uh, how many times can you subtract 7 from 49? 7, 14, 21, 20, I don't know, 7, 48. I think it's probably 7 or 8. I'm not really good at math. I think it's 7. Alright, here are the results. It's calculating the results, it says. Your result. You are stupid. You have passed the stupid test with flying colors. That is to say, you are completely stupid. <laughs> What? Why? 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 I wanted to be a genius. I wanted to be a genius. I thought I answered them, like, mostly correct, but I, I guess I'm stupid. Well, that was... depressing. If, uh, <laughs> if you guys want to try this out at home, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description, and uh, maybe you can go find out if you're a genius or if you're stupid. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Pause up and share it with a friend. If you're new, subscribe to the family today. And I'll see you guys next time. Boop.